Hello everybody and welcome to Gadgets Extra. Today I'm going to show you how to sideload XPMC or any other app. First we need to go to settings and look for system and developer options. ADB debugging need to be enabled and apps from unknown sources as well. Click on OK. Now we need to find the network on about and network and you will find the IP address. Just remember it. Download the files from the description and let's start with a FTV. Let's copy the folder to C drive and paste it. Okay, let's open it and run the utility. Okay, let's wait for it to load. Now we need to set up the settings. Okay, let's enter the IP address we remembered earlier from the Fire TV. And this application allows us to send any app we want. We will start with XPMC and let's enable those two and save. Now let's close it and reopen it. And that's what we'll do. We'll add the IP address to the code of this application so it can run smoothly. Okay, let's select uh, the XBMC and click on sideload. This process takes some time, up to 30 minutes. So make sure you have a good connection and some patience. Once it's success, and now we need to go to the Fire TV, look on application manage and heads down and look for XBMC. XBMC should run uh, smoothly on the Fire TV stick as well. And you can control it with your remote control. Okay, now that we set up the XBMC, I think we should set up another application for side loading and managing our files. Okay, let's close it and open the utility again. Okay, now we can select uh, ES Explorer, which is very excellent for managing and sending any other files and it's much faster than using the Fire TV utility. Okay, it's success. Let's go back to the Fire TV and launch it. Click on back button and look for network. And I would like now to go and choose a cloud based. Click on new and choose your favorite. I'm going to use Dropbox. It's just because it's so easy to set up. And basically we can copy files from the computer to the Fire TV in a glance. Or as you can set up your username and password as well you can use the remote control app from Android. Okay anyway I want to try this uh, emulator. Okay go to Google Play and copy the link up top and paste it. Generate the file and download it. Once it's downloaded just copy it to your Dropbox folder. Okay, so look like it's synced. Now we need to head to our Fire TV and install the fire. The file, sorry. And let's install it. Okay. Awesome, it looks like it's going to work. If you guys like this video and want to see more, please subscribe and take care.